All right, students, so now that you can print on your iPads, we wanna make sure you know how to do it because there are a couple of steps involved in sending them to the printer and then releasing them from the printer. So here we have on this student's iPad a Google document. So if you have a Google document that you need to print, first thing you're gonna do is start by clicking on the share row, as we call it. So there it is, it's that square with the arrow. And then from this menu, we're gonna scroll down until we get to print. So click print. At this point, you're gonna to have to print, or you're gonna have to select the printer. There's no printer selected, but if you click there where it says no printer selected, then you're going to send it to the iPad printer. It really should be the only thing that you have available. Um, notice that other one that's showing up is over at Homestead. It's gonna be a little inconvenient for you to retrieve that crossing the street with all the construction. So you're gonna send it to the middle school iPad printer. It's gonna ask you to uh, log in with your username and password. I'm gonna turn away while the student types in their username and password. But what this does is it's gonna send it to the printer and when the student gets to the printer, then they will log in at the printer with their username and their password. Okay, so they are now logged in and you can see it's gonna send it to the MS iPad printer um, notice black and white has not been selected. We want to turn that on so that we're not getting a color document. Um, and notice double-sided is on, which is good. It's going to help us save paper. Now that we have those options, we're going to click print in the top right corner. And it has sent that to the printer. So now we're going to see how to print a Word document. Okay, so we have our Word document up and we're ready to send it to the printer. So now we're going to click on the three dots in the very top right corner. We'll click there and in this menu, we're looking for print. We're gonna click on that. We're going to air print. And because we just sent something to the printer, it sort of has that setting all ready for us. So it's gonna send it to the middle school iPad printer. Notice that it does not have black and white selected. So we wanna turn that on. Um, that way we get a black and white copy. It does have double-sided, which is good. So now we're gonna click print in the top right corner. So that has, oh, again, it's gonna ask the student to use their username. Sorry, I had that up and uh, there was the student's username, but I think we're good. Okay, they logged in with their password and they've sent that to the printer. So now we're going to see how to print a web-based uh, document. Okay, so now we have this article that's online at the How Stuff Works website. So to print this, the easiest thing to do, or maybe the best thing to do, is to convert it to a reader version. So the two little A's up at the top, we're gonna click that. We're gonna click Show Reader. What it does is it takes all of the ads and all of the gobbledygook out of this, and we get just the article. So now we're gonna click on the little box with the arrow at the top and we're going to choose print. And again, it's sending it to the middle school iPad printer. Um, black and white is not selected. If you can do it black and white, it's certainly better for us. It's less expensive. We're gonna click print. And it's asking the student to log in with their username and their password, which they just did, and it has now sent that over to the printer. So now we're gonna go over to the printer and see how you retrieve all these. Okay, so here we are at the printer. We did have to wake it up. We just tapped the little button up here and it, it brought up the uh, view. Now notice it says one way to log in is with username and password, and there's another way to do it with just your ID number. The quicker way to do it is with just your ID number. So the student's gonna tap there where it says ID number. They're gonna type in their student ID number, which I'm turning away so you can't see it. Oh, hang on, let me do this. What's really weird is when you first pull it up, to get the number pad, you do have to use this key right here that looks like uh, Japanese kanji characters. If you don't tap that, then the numbers don't show up on the pad. Okay, so they typed in their number. They're now going to click log in. And they're going to click, notice it says they have three print jobs pending. That means there's three print jobs that they're waiting on. Click on print release. So there are the three um, articles or the three things that they are printing. Now notice the first one 
is 14 pages long. We probably really don't want to do that because we're demonstrating it. And if you need something 14 pages long, you should really, really verify with your teacher. So we're not going to print the 14 pages long one. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it. Actually, we're not going to select it. I'm sorry. We're going to select the Word document by just clicking in the box to the left of where it says Word, right there. And then we're also going to click the Sample Assignment Google document. And now we're going to click where it says Print. So that should release it to the print job. While we're waiting for the printer to warm up and do that, we're going to delete this 14 pages long document. So we're going to select it, the box to the left of where it says How Magnets Work. And now we're going to hit the trash can. And it's going to say, do you really want to do that? And we do. So we're going to click Delete. So now that has removed that from the printing queue for the student. And meanwhile, um, this has printed down here. They were pretty much just blank pages that we sent because they were samples, but it did print it. Then the student wants to make sure when they're done that they log out. And that means that they're not in here anymore and it's ready for the next student to log in. If you have any questions or need help printing, come see us in the library.